The Weary Blues by Langston Hughes is a poignant exploration of African-American life, infused with the rhythm and melancholy of the blues. Published in 1926, the poem captures the essence of a blues performance, reflecting the cultural and emotional landscape of the Harlem Renaissance. Hughes employs vivid imagery, a rhythmic structure, and a deep sense of musicality to convey the themes of sorrow, resilience, and the African-American experience. The poem opens with a powerful visual and auditory scene of a blues singer performing on Lenox Avenue, a street in Harlem. The description is rich with sensory details, as Hughes writes about the dull pallor of an old gaslight and the mellow croon of the singer's voice. This setting immediately situates the reader in the vibrant, yet somber world of the blues, a genre born out of the African-American struggle and characterized by its expression of pain and yearning. Hughes masterfully uses repetition and rhythm to mimic the musicality of the blues. The refrain, he did a lazy sway, slash he did a lazy sway, echoes the repetitive nature of blues music, creating a sense of continuity and immersion. This repetition not only reinforces the musical quality of the poem but also emphasizes the singer's weariness and resignation. The blues, as depicted in the poem, are not just a musical form but a manifestation of the collective emotional state of African Americans during this era. The poem's structure further enhances its musicality. Hughes employs a loose, free verse form that allows for a natural, conversational flow. This mimics the improvisational nature of blues music, where the singer often adapts and changes the performance in response to their emotions and the audience's reactions. The enjambment throughout the poem creates a sense of movement and fluidity, mirroring the rhythm of the blues and the ebb and flow of the singer's emotions. A significant theme in The Weary Blues is the expression of sorrow and suffering. The blues singer's lament, I got the weary blues slash and I can't be satisfied, captures the essence of the African-American experience of hardship and discontent. This line, repeated throughout the poem, underscores the pervasive sense of fatigue and longing that defines the blues. The singer's music becomes a conduit for expressing deep-seated pain, a way of articulating the inarticulable. The sad raggy tune and the singer's melancholy tone convey a profound sense of despair, yet there is also a sense of catharsis in the act of singing. Hughes also explores the idea of resilience through the blues. Despite the singer's weariness, there is an underlying strength in his performance. The act of singing the blues becomes an act of defiance, a way of confronting and coping with life's hardships. The closing lines of the poem, the singer stopped playing and went to bed slash while the weary blues echoed through his head, suggest that the music continues to resonate within him, providing solace and a sense of continuity even as he rests. The blues, in this sense, are both a reflection of suffering and a means of endurance. The Weary Blues is a testament to Hughes's ability to capture the essence of African-American culture and experience through his poetry. The poem's vivid imagery, rhythmic structure, and deep emotional resonance make it a powerful representation of the blues as both a musical genre and a cultural expression. Through the figure of the blues singer, Hughes delves into themes of sorrow, resilience, and the enduring spirit of African-Americans, creating a work that is both poignant and profoundly moving. The poem stands as a timeless reflection on the power of music to articulate and alleviate human suffering, and on the enduring strength of those who create and live the blues.